One of my favorite aspects of Android is the wide level of customization that you're able to do with just your run-of-the-mill Android device. Of course, you can install an entirely new launcher that could radically change the way that your device looks, feels, and behaves, or you can just change the icons around to give things a different look, change the wallpaper, the lock screen, etc., etc. Really make an Android device look and feel unique, like it's your device only. And of course, since I've got the Z Fold device, I would love to do the same thing there. But on the Z Fold device, yes, the same options are available, but they don't work quite as well because of the rather unique form factor of the Z Fold. What I mean by that is this. You've got a device with the Z Fold that is a phone, but it's also a tablet. And because of that, the launcher that you use must look good on a phone and it must look good on a tablet. And it must be able to span across both of those without really suffering. And while there are a couple of launchers that I think do a good enough job with this, something like Niagara Launcher is a good example, the best launcher for the Z Fold, in my opinion, is still the stock One UI launcher. And the reason for this is because you can have one setup on your cover display, and then when you open it up, it's going to transition to an entirely different setup on your interior tablet display. And that makes things just work really, really well. However, there's a big problem with One UI's default launcher, and that is that by default, you cannot use custom icons, which hurts my soul deeply. However, as of One UI 3.1.1 on the Z Fold 2 and on many other Z Fold devices, custom icons are now available and I'm going to show you exactly how to use them. So this is my Z Fold 2 and as you can see, I'm using custom icons. I think that they look quite good. I'm really happy with this layout. And like I said, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did this. So the first thing you're going to have to do here is go into the Galaxy Store. Now, you may or may not already have this installed, but if you don't, go ahead and search for and install Goodlock. Now, that'll be your option here. It's got kind of a pinkish colored icon. Goodlock is what you're looking for. Once you have Goodlock, Go ahead and open that app up. Now down here at the bottom right where it says family, go ahead and select on that and you're looking for theme park. Select that and it's actually going to take you to the theme park page in the Galaxy Store. Go ahead and install that. Once it's installed, back out, go back into Good Lock, go back to family and click on theme park. Now once you're in theme park, there's a lot of good stuff you can do here. You can actually totally customize the appearance of your Z Fold. You can see that my quick icons, the, the uh, circles here are kind of a bluish purple color to match my background. And that's something you can do with Theme Park. But for right now, we're gonna focus on icons. So down here at the bottom where it says icons, go ahead and select that. All right, we gotta pause now because we gotta go get a custom icon pack. So to do that, we're gonna go home. Now you gotta go to the Play Store and search for icon pack. And any of these are going to work. The only problem you may run into is if an icon pack doesn't have an icon for an app that you use, it'll just be blank. But just look for icon packs that have good ratings and that you like the appearance of and go ahead and install them. If you're curious about what I'm using, this is what it's called, Verticon's Icon Pack. They look really, really good. So once you've got your icon pack installed, let's go ahead and go back to Theme Park and you're going to hit Create New. Once this pops up and finishes loading, you're going to select Icon Pack up here at the top. You see it's a blue icon, says Icon Pack below. Go ahead and select that. And then here below, you're going to have the icon packs that you have installed. Go ahead and select the icon pack that you're going to use. Let it load and do its thing. It's going to take a moment. Once that is done, you're going to click on the little download icon here in the top right hand corner. Now it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to run through a loading thing. And once it's done, you're going to wind up back here at this menu. At that point, you're simply going to touch the setup that you just created. And it should have asked you to name it as well. Once you've done that, you can hit apply. It's going to load again and boom, there you go. Your icons are now installed. If you have one you don't like, like I've got another vertical icon pack I didn't like, you can long press it, hit delete, and that is gone. If you want to get rid of these icons, simply touch the one you've already done and hit release down there in the bottom right that will take you back to stock 
And if you want to get more deep in this and you want to really customize thing, the button bottom left that says theme is where you want to go. Hit create new and it's going to walk you through each thing that you're going to customize. Whether it is the quick settings, colors, it is your icon, your background, your lock screen, all of that stuff. But if you don't want to change those things because you already like your wallpaper and so forth and so on, ignore them and just go straight to icon, hit that and let it roll. Now this does work on my Z Fold 2. It does work on my wife's Z Flip 3. I'm imagining this works on any device that has One UI 3.1.1. In fact, if it works on some of the S series phones that have that One UI version, let me know in the comments down below. I'm not 100% sure if that works or not. But guys, that was my quick video on how to do custom icons on One UI's default home launcher. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out to get a nice clean look on your Z Fold device. Stay tuned for more coverage just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.